Hello everyone, this is the Introvert Positron, and thank you for once again joining me as it is time to try Dark Souls. So last time we uh, went across the bridge, we killed the Warrior of the Sun. I don't know what his name is, unfortunately. I feel bad for him because he got possessed by one of the bugs, and he, well, at least he died believing he found what he was looking for. But that was a pretty sad occurrence. Not something I wanted to do. Um, but either way, that's what happened there. Uh, when I crossed the bridge. The other thing I did is I continued to fight the Bed of Chaos. We got another side done. This is anno <laughs> an annoying battle in that way. Um, and we will continue on. I don't think the boss fight is going to take that much longer. Uh, hopefully we'll have it done by the end of this episode. Uh, regardless, I will be working hard to make sure that it's done. So. We are just going to run through here. Not going to bother with anything. Uh, and then we are going to go into the boss fight and we are going to win this time. I really hope I don't have to do platforming to get my souls back because that would suck. Um, a lot. Um, but I mean, if I do, I'm just going to beat them. It's just going to be as simple as that. I think this is the correct weapon to take it down though. Uh, so we're going to go back in. We're going to hopefully finish it this time. Um, if not this time, the next time. Um, and then we have other things that we want to do in this game. Because uh, that will be the final Lord Soul. I will be ready to go after... Uh, well, I'm going to be able to fill the Lord Vessel. And then whatever happens after that is what happens after that. Okay. So, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. So I see lots of, uh... Oh, I know. I'm supposed to go towards the center, aren't I? You can see the we the... Okay, let's go towards the center. Yeah, that is definitely what I'm supposed to do. And there goes all of my souls. <laughs> oh, how am I supposed to? I guess I just have to roll at the right time. Or maybe use projectiles, but I don't really have any good projectiles right now. I don't know. Because my assumption would be that I have to stun it. But I really don't have anything to stun it with. So at the moment, I honestly don't know. But I mean, I obviously have to go towards the center. Um, I don't know, maybe I'm supposed to wait for a particular attack or something? Uh, this is going to be interesting. We're going to have to figure this out. And I will do this on my own. I'm not looking anything up. I, I mean, <laughs> I exaggerated a little bit. I haven't done that much of it, but I feel bad for the, one, for the times that I have done kind of the point. I don't want to do it again if I can avoid it. But I do want this Let's Play to move smoothly from here, so I don't know. Um, the fact is, is that we have time to do this like another eight or nine times. So I will figure something out. Um, I'll see if dodging works. If it doesn't, then we might have to figure out something else. Um, but that is definitely where I'm supposed to go right now. Um, obviously killing the other two branches block that area. Um, so once I get into it, I imagine this is probably over or very close to over. Because that's the only place left to go. It might unlock the actual boss itself. Or it may in fact be the end of the boss itself. I don't know. I'm not counting on it being the end, but I'm hoping it's going to be. <laughs> not counting on it though. Um... That's not fair. You're attacking me way too early, man. Okay. Let's go get those souls. Okay. And just go. Go for it. Wait. What? Okay, yeah. Good place to recharge. Okay, let's go in. Let's go in for the kill, hopefully. 
This actually looks like it might be. There's nothing it can do to me anymore. So hopefully this is it. Somebody even put, like, a sign. Um, praise the sun. Yeah, this is totally over. I'm guessing I could have used a summon to... Really? That's it. Cool. Very cool. We did it. Yay! I lost the humanity and a bunch of souls, but that's okay. That is good. <laughs> that was way easier than I was expecting it to be. Unfortunately, kind of boring. I hate to say. Um, <laughs> Alright. So we have lots of souls now. Let's, um... Let's do a few things. First, let's uh, see if I can reinforce my... Yep, I totally can. Yay! <laughs> Quailog's Fury Sword is now even more powerful. That was the demon Titanite I got from the Titanite demon I just fought. Thankfully. <laughs> Alright, let's, um, let's use all my current souls. So that I can be powerful enough to, uh, powerful enough, have enough souls to do this. That is not the right thing for it. Alright. Um, and then we have more than enough humanity to increase this fire. So, wow, I can't believe we did it. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do next. <laughs> um, if I were to guess... I would say um, I have to do some grinding before I go on to the DLC. Um, in particular, I just need... I'm not leveling myself up, don't worry about that part of it. Um, but I do need to go and get some um, humanity, because as always I want... What did I just use? What did I just use? I don't think I used anything important there. No, I just used the Soul of a Brave Warrior. Um, but anyway... <laughs> We are going to be um, going on to the DLC next, because I have all the Lord Souls. Um, I almost have this game finished, which is absolutely fantastic and kind of scary all at the same time. <laughs> because I, well, I know what I'm doing next, but I'm not announcing that yet. <laughs> it's a little too soon for that. I imagine that we'll still have quite a few episodes since they're half the length they used to be. Of course. It only took half the episode to get through that, so I don't know. Um, I really don't know. I'm excited, though. I'm going to be so happy when this is done. Not because, um, not because I'm bored of this game by any means. I'm probably going to finish this and go straight on to Dark Souls 2, in fact. Uh, not for a Let's Play, unfortunately. For those of you who like this let's play <laughs> but um just in general like i need to move on to other things for this channel and i want to continue playing it uh, my plan right now is to play dark souls 3 at some point uh, once i have it and once i have room for it on the channel again but i need to take a break from it for let's playing for a while um, it takes so long to go through these games in a Let's Play because I have to... Because I've constricted the episode. I usually play games uh, in pretty big uh, increments, and I don't usually do it only once or twice a week. <laughs> but yeah. Um, and I'm pleased to announce that we are now level 90. Um, almost at a point where <laughs> this is getting insane. <laughs> I would be happy to actually finish it at this level, but I mean, we still have the DLC to do, and I don't know how long that's going to take. Uh, it could take a few episodes, it could take like a lot more than that, who knows. Um, but there's a few things I want to do on my own before we can do that anyway. Um, but I'm going to do the first thing I want to do, which is I'm going to go start grinding for humanity again, and I know this is not the favorite thing to do in a Let's Play, but it's pretty much just going to be commentary from here on for the rest of this episode, but I'll keep it to being a shorter episode. So that part of it <laughs> at least will be merciful. Um, so let's go to the depths. Um, and then once I'm done this part, once I have enough humanity that I'm happy, I will then 
um, move on to the DLC. Well, I'll then do a couple other things because I'm not done yet, for one thing. Um, like, I'm pretty happy with where a lot of stuff is, and I'm so happy you can switch out of this armor now. I've been in this armor for a long time now. Uh, because the Demon Ruins was massive, like, the, uh, the, uh, Duke's Archives was fairly big. Uh, the, and so was the, uh, the Catacombs. New Londo Ruins was not as big as I thought it was going to be. Uh, the Catacombs weren't, like, that, the Giant's Tomb, sorry, it wasn't as huge as I was expecting it to be either, but, like... Wow, it was just like, that area was massive. I wasn't expecting to fight two bosses, which I'm still sorry nobody got to see. Um, although I'm just realizing I probably should go back to the Demon Ruin to get some other things. I am not. I haven't been worrying about the beetles because a lot of them I just am not capable of getting with my current like abilities and they give me stuff I can get other places, but at the same time I do need to start worrying about it. Um, because <laughs> if I'm going to do subsequent Let's Plays, um, and yeah, this is the one I want to use, because this is just a faster weapon. But yeah, if I want to do more Let's Plays outside of this, like, actually not even this, where's Quaylog's Fury Sword, where's my favorite weapon, there we go. Try beating to a pulp. Thank you for that advice. Yeah, and of course we'll be going for some tight night stuff here anyway. What is that? Does that mean that somebody, like, can be summoned? Oh no, that's my... No, that isn't. What in the world is going on with that? I think about yeah, I think it's just a glitch. I don't know. <laughs> I shouldn't assume that, but it is kind of what comes to mind at the moment. Um, anyway, we already have lots of soul of humanity rather, because we still have twin humanity, so we have a fourteen humanity as it stands, which is a pretty good place to start. Um, and I should have reinforced that, so I'm going to do that too. But yeah, I mean, there's a few things I want to do, but we will be starting the next episode um, heading into the DLC. Uh, I'm going to, I already know what spot I'm going to start it at, actually, because it's, um, it's not a hard thing to pick in this case. Sometimes it might be. Ah, let's just, um, yeah, do this. <laughs> I mean, I'm not low on humanity right now. I would almost be okay with doing this. As is, but at the same time, humanity also increases my ability to find items and stuff. And I don't know how much is going to be accessible in the DLC world. Um, for all I know, it's not going to be really, like, possible to find. And I could be just, like, there forever, not finding a single thing. Which would not be fun at all. Well, not a single humanity. Obviously, I'm going to find stuff there. There's probably new weapons and armor sets in that area. Uh, which I'm kind of excited to find. I'm coming for ya. Oh yeah, same old, same old at this point. I mean, this game was not by any means easy. I'm not ever going to claim that. It was a challenge. It's a challenging experience. Um, but I don't know. I was expecting to have more problems than I did. And that's not a disappointment. In fact, it makes me very happy. I just, this game was hyped up to be like really difficult. And I actually prefer this because 
there's this kind of difficulty, and then there's like Kaizo Mario and uh, I want to be the guy kind of difficulty where it's like it just ambushes you unfairly all the time with things that automatically kill you. Um, and this game does it sometimes, but it's not very often. This one is for learning the mechanics so that if you do get ambushed, you won't automatically die. Um, instead, you can, you know, make it through without needing to die. And instead, just learn the area and do it better next time instead if you do die at some point. But not every ambush in this game has to kill you. Um, and most of the time I've been able to predict them. Most of the time. Not all of the time. Because, I mean, there's always a pattern to these kind of things. Oh, nice. Humanity. Uh, oh, there's always a pattern to these kind of things. It is unnormal for there not to be patterns in the way that they ambush things. The way they ambush you. It's, every now and then they'll do something like they'll drop something down on you when you're walking down a corridor that you've never been down. And then you don't expect that. But that's pretty um, few and far in between for for those kinds of deaths. And then, otherwise, it's it's mostly like fair game. Like, you either expect things to happen or you don't. And if you don't, then you're going to die. And then you're going to have to learn the hard way every single time. And yeah, I remember this. I remember doing this because I've done it for like several hours total. Which is unfortunate in a lot of ways. That's the only thing that sucks. Is uh, human finding humanity... Like, humanity is almost like too necessary in this game. Almost. Because you need it for like... For real progression in the game. And... Well, not for real progression, but for making your life easier. Like, I guess I could just ignore it. Not ignore it, but, like, buy it when it's available and then just make sure to do that. But I just, I feel awful when I can't, like, reinforce a uh, fire too full. And I hate that part of it. That I feel bad about that. I mean, not the race, the fire, fires part. Because I think that's cool. I think it's a cool mechanic. And I wish it was in the game sooner than I did realize that it was in the game. Because that would have made my first playthrough a lot nicer and a lot easier if I would realized that. That and how to use fire keep results. Which was one of the main reasons why I restarted the game in the first place. It was because of that. It was because of the fact that I didn't know that and I wasted two fire keeper souls um, on myself by accident. Speaking of which, I don't know if I've missed any fire keeper souls. I already have plus four, which is pretty great, but... Ow. That's really unnecessary. But yeah. Um... That was weird. Anyway. Um, I think this is pretty much where we're going to end it. I'm going to be doing this for a while. Um, I'll probably be trying to make some more uh, weapons as well. Um, I can buy lots of large titanium with the souls that I have at the moment. So I'll be using that. And I want to upgrade some weapons. So I'm not going to be using a lot of them. Um, because one of the weapons I'm trying to make is called the... I think it's called the Life Hunt Scythe or something like that. It's made using uh, half breed Priscilla's soul. Um, which is a decent weapon, but at the same time, it's just... It's not like... It, it does bleed damage to me whenever I use it, which is kind of annoying. Um, if I had a way to like be immune to bleed damage or... Have like a ridiculous... Um, amount of uh, resistance to it then I would use it but as things currently stand it doesn't make a ton of sense for me to use personally um, but I'm kind of like I'm almost at the point where I want to complete this game <laughs> which is ridiculous because this game is so difficult to complete and there are things that I would like actually no I won't go to complete this game never mind apparently you have to beat the game without like dying a single time in order to do that that wouldn't be fun Oh, it's snowing. First snowfall of the year. If you look at that. 
Canada, indeed. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to go freak out about the snow in a happy way. I love snow. Um, <laughs> probably one of the few people who does. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that's everything for the moment. Next time we will be continuing on with the DLC, so be excited for that. We're going to finally get into that content. Um, from what I understand about the content from my friends who have not given me too many details is that it is the most difficult part of the entire game. So it should be fun. We should have lots and lots of fun and death. Lots of death. Lots and lots of that. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. That's it for now. We're almost there. I cannot believe it. We have DLC and then the final area, possibly, definitely a final boss. I would be very disappointed in this game if it did not have a final boss, one who I can easily guess who it is. Um, I will be surprised if it is not Gwyn. <laughs> if it is not Gwyn, then I will be incredibly surprised. <laughs> so maybe you'll surprise me in that way, but I don't expect this game to you. That's not the way it surprises you. Not with its story. Its story is simple and it needs to be. Um, for the, its focus is on its world and on its gameplay, which is pretty fantastic for a game. So anyway, uh, that's everything for the moment. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Whether or not you did, please leave some constructive criticism in the comments. It helps to improve the quality of my videos and hopefully also the quality of enjoyment. Um, if you want to watch more of my content, I am going to uh, leave a link on the left and right side on the left so that you can watch the previous episode, on the right so you can watch the next episode. If that's not there yet, then it will be a recommended video. And then I will also leave my channel icon in the center for you to subscribe to my channel if that is what you wish. So thank you again. Have a great day. And I'll see all of you very, very soon.